Hey guys, this is Crawl. Uh, once again, I have a new ship to show you guys. Uh, and it will be on the workshop really soon, if not already. Um, actually, it's probably going to be on the workshop by the time you watch this video. Um, so, yeah, the story behind this ship is yesterday I decided to create a game where I would fix this ship right here. Uh, right now it's, it doesn't look like the original design, at least not 100% because I did some work on it. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do this is because this ship had issues and uh, it was built in survival and I didn't want to publish it to, work, to the workshop with the issues that it had. So um, I wanted to fix those issues and then publish it to the workshop. and. Uh, as you can see it's missing some parts up here and uh, after a while I just I just told myself okay you know what the hell with this I'm making a new ship altogether so um, this is how this little thing was born um, I don't love it but I do like it um, comes to how it looks I'm not in love with the uh, the front here uh, but you know it does look it, it does have its charms I guess <laughs> it's full of thrusters as you can see uh, underneath there are a few pipes exposed but you know it's not that um, critical I guess uh, it does have an antenna right here I didn't want to have an antenna sticking out anywhere, so I put it underneath right there. Uh, so this ship, I guess, is designed to be an escort ship or uh, the kind of ship that you would dock on a transport ship just in case the transport ship gets attacked, then uh, you would have some of your crew. Uh, getting onto these small ships and uh, trying to fight back so uh, it has five Gatling guns in the front these are the only weapons that it has but it is really really fast and really maneuverable and uh, if you practice a little bit with this ship, you're going to be really hard to hit. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate right now how fast it can be. Actually, we're going to go in there. I don't want to go too fast because obviously I could crash. It's not that easy to determine uh, how high or how low I am. And I made it out. <laughs> that was a very, very close flyby. I'm gonna go inside the asteroid again. I'm gonna try and uh, fly really close to it. This ship would be really good to chase enemies or to, uh, you know. Just uh, dog fighting stuff. Is that an entrance? No, it's not. Is that an entrance? No, it's not. Oh, there's an entrance. It's probably the exact same one that I've been using, so we're gonna try and go somewhere else and uh, fit in this very very tight spot 
here. Oof. <laughs> Thought I was gonna hit for a while. Okay. As you can see, it's turning crazy fast, so you, you, you won't, you don't want to be holding the, uh, the roll button too long because it will roll a lot. So you want to just hit it a little bit and it's going to roll plenty enough. So where are the other ships? Oh, they're over there. <laughs> I love doing that. And it doesn't take that long for the ship to stop either. It does have quite a few thrusters in the front, and it does have some on the side that uh, are reverse thrusters as well on each side too. So, obviously it will stop a lot faster uh, if you try and, uh, if you're going in reverse, it's going to stop almost instantly because of the amount of thrusters in the back. It's going to stop a little bit slower with the front thrusters, but it's still, still reasonable. And another thing I want to show you guys, I put this platform here just so that I could have a surface to land on. And I want to show you that the uh, the ship was built so that you can land on any surface without damaging it. So we're going to lock this and we're going to blast the uh, thrusters underneath as much as we can. And even though the flame seems to be touching the floor, it's not damaging it. So I'm really happy with that. I try to build all of my small ships this way so that they don't damage the surface that they land on. And uh, just to be clear, thruster damage is on right now. So if I remove the uh, the landing gears, it would pro and uh, you know I could go closer to the floor I would probably be able to damage it but right now I'm not damaging a thing so I don't know if it's the developers that changed anything with this but um, I, I seem to recall that it would be possible to damage the floor if I was that close but right now I'm not damaging it so I'm really happy with that and uh, I tested it before uh, deciding to make this video because um, <clears throat> if it had been damaging the floor I would have changed a few things maybe make the landing gears um, you know uh, get the ship higher from the floor but I hate having fixed landing gears on a ship like this I like to make my landing gears retractable and I could have done it on that ship but I wanted the ship to be able to go to top speed without uh, without having to fear for the rotors or the pistons that the landing gears are attached on because rotors and pistons they act weird uh, when you're at top speed they kind of break or uh, they wobble a lot and they cause damage so um, I didn't want that for that ship, so I decided to go with fixed landing gears, but I hate it. I, I totally hate it. I think it looks weird. It looks... Ugh. So anyways, that's why they are... Uh, I tried to hide them inside here as much as I could so that you couldn't see too much of it. I, it makes it look like the ship has legs and feet. It's... Ugh. I hate it. Anyways, so we're going to unlock them and take off. So, um... Five Gatling guns.
not the uh, most powerful ship, but you know, it's not the kind of ship that you would take into battle on your own. You would have, you know, some uh, some uh, wingmates that would be flying maybe other ships, maybe uh, another mongoose, because that's how I called it, by the way. I called it mongoose because of its speed and its agility and uh, um, it's a ship made to be aggressive, but it doesn't do that much damage. Like if I compare it with Phantom over here, uh, it also has five Gatling guns, but this ship, Phantom, is a lot slower. It's a lot less maneuverable. But the issue with it was that it uh, it overloaded. It had ten freaking small reactors and not that many thrusters, and it kept overloading every time that I would reach maybe. Uh, 40 meters a second and I would try and turn and stuff it would overload all the time especially while it was uh, using uh, dampeners so uh, I, I didn't want to publish it that way I wanted to fix the problem so I put a large reactor in it and now it's not overloading anymore but um, I, I still need to finish it anyways mongoose doesn't overload it has two large reactors which is plenty enough to power up all of these thrusters and they can all be dampening or thrusting at once it won't matter um, so it's really it's really a well built ship I guess the only downside is the uh, it only has five Gatling guns and that's it no rocket launchers but rocket launchers at high speed they tend to uh, turn against you so <laughs> I didn't want any rocket launchers on this so um, so yeah it doesn't have any rocket launchers any rotors and any pistons because it, it, all for the same reason at very high speed all of these things tend to turn against you so that's why it doesn't um, Phantom does have retractable landing gears and I love it I mean it really looks a lot better but if I wanted to take Phantom to top speed like I'm, I'm gonna do it right now it's probably gonna break the landing gears underneath as you can see it, it's a lot slower it doesn't accelerate as fast it, it turns well but the, uh, the thrusters, they, they don't, like, look at how much I'm sliding with this one. This one was built in survival, and I didn't have as much experience when I built it. I do love the look of it. I love how it looks, but it's pretty much it. Anyways, we're going to try and top, uh, get to top speed. I'm already at 50 meters a second. If I turn too fast, it's going to lose speed, so I don't want to turn too fast. I expect that at top speed, the, uh, the rotors underneath will break. Okay, now I'm losing speed. Okay, gaining. Yep, they're starting to... Uh, wobble. They're gonna break soon. Okay, one is broken. I'm not sure why the landing gear is still attached. Okay, never mind. It's no longer attached. It's just holding on to uh, another block, I guess. I've lost a lot of speed now, so... I think I even lost a thruster. So yeah, that that is why Mongoose does not have the uh, the retractable landing gears. 
That is the only reason. Oh, it's trying to detach. <laughs> it's trying. I'm actually trying to make it detach. I guess it's not detaching because when I turn it loses enough speed to uh, keep it from detaching. But right now I'm almost uh, completely still. Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna see if the landing gears are still working. I expect that the ones in the front are completely ripped off. Oh, uh, there's a lot of damage here. So Mongoose will never have that problem. And by the way, Mongoose is not the name of the ship itself, it's the name of the model. I call the model the Mongoose because it's fast and agile and maneuverable. Look at how long this one takes to, uh, to come to a full stop compared to the Mongoose. <laughs> I still love that ship, and if I do manage to uh, get it completely fixed, then, uh, okay. I guess there is no more landing gears. Retractable landing gear. That was supposed to be right here. What? I thought they were broken. <laughs> well then, what the hell broke? I mean, they were shaking a lot, so I, I don't know how they're not broken and still working. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, broken or not, you guys get the point. Um, actually, I guess I need to do... No, not this. This. Ah, no, not auto lock. God damn it. I don't know where my head is right now. Switch lock. Because they're mounted on rotors, uh, I can't use P to lock them. I need to uh, create a group to lock and unlock them, like this. Well, I, I seriously can't believe that the rotors survived. I've seen this ship lose its landing gears more than once while I was testing it in survival and right now the landing gears survived the ones on rotors but something on that side right here broke off and that was just a regular landing gear as you can see on this side it was meant to attach torpedoes that's why it's there <laughs> okay th this is so weird Something broke, but not what I, what I was expecting. Anyways, the video is about mongoose. Just to, and I only did this with Phantom to uh, show you guys that mongoose will not have those problems. It's faster. It turns better. It it has the exact same damage output as the uh, as the Phantom and. Uh, I don't know, it, it may not look as good, but it, it does look good still. And this one can go at top speed any, anytime it wants, and it won't break anything. So we'll, we're going to take it to top speed. 
I, I don't think I've been going at top speed with it uh, in this video so far. I'm already almost there. It's crazy the amount of acceleration it has. So I'm turning as much as I want. I'm not losing that much speed. Of course, if I turn 180 degrees, um, I'm not going to be accelerating right away like I just did right there. It decelerated to pretty much zero and started accelerating again. So, but it's still good. I mean, it, it's not that bad. Took pretty much no time to stop, which is good. So anyways, now I have another video that I'm going to make about this ship and uh, I've already set, uh, set everything up to be uh, ready to start and uh, what I'm going to do is I have this ship um, just, you know, remaining completely idle and still uh, somewhere and I have four mongoose um, that are about 1200 meters away from it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one mongoose I'm gonna fly towards the uh, large ship and I'm gonna try and do as much damage as I can to it before uh, I get destroyed and I will get destroyed okay <laughs> I will there's no way I'm gonna be able to dodge all the missiles and uh, get linked or it's firing at me for too long but you know I'm gonna try and do as much damage as I can and then uh, when I get destroyed I'm gonna go and grab another mongoose and do the same thing I have four in total so once the uh, fourth one is destroyed I'm gonna go and see how much damage I did to uh, the exploration ship and uh, I mean I don't expect that I'm gonna do much I'm just doing this for fun because all I have on this are Gatling, uh, Gatling guns and the uh, exploration ship is made out of heavy armor blocks all around so um, we'll see anyways uh, I'll see you there I'm, I'm gonna record that video right now actually so uh, yeah see you there bye bye